Hey, Dimple. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Are you ready for 73 questions? I think so. Okay, what are you doing right now? I am going where the wind takes me. <laughs> and what are you passionate about? Honestly, I'm passionate about cats and Van Gogh. And what is your holokai, your major and minors? I major in English and I minor in psychology and education. And what is your most impressive achievement? Oh, I managed to get to college during a pandemic. Nice. And why did you choose BYU Hawaii? Um, I work was a big part of it, but another part was just how many different cultures and people are in campus. Are you happy you chose BYU Hawaii? One of the best decisions I've made. And what would you say a typical BYU Hawaii student is like? Um, they're always on the way to something that they're already late for. And what percentage of students are female? I think 60%. I know there's only more girls than guys. And how does that affect dating life? I've never made, I've never noticed a big difference, but everybody knows when you break up with somebody, that's for sure. If you had to choose a song to describe your college experience, what song would you choose? It's not an English song, but it's called Highway to Heaven by NCT 127. I love that. And what is your all-time favorite thing about BYU Hawaii? The people that I meet every day. Why are you known as Seasiders? Because we're by the seaside. <laughs> and what's your favorite thing to do when you are off campus? Um, honestly, I like going to Costco and bulk buying everything. And what is the BYU Hawaii stereotype that holds true? Um, I guess everyone wears slippers everywhere. And where are we right now? We're right in front of the academic advising building. And can you show me a little bit more of campus? Yeah, sure. Just follow along. Okay. Can you rate the calf one to ten? Five. And what is the worst thing you've eaten there? I'm going to get in trouble for this, but um, I've had better pad thai in other places. Mm. And what is the best thing you've eaten there? Honestly, on Sundays, the food is bussin'. You are so right. Where is the go-to place for a late night snack on campus? The seesaw is open pretty late, but if you have a group of friends that is willing to go with you, Taco Bell is the place to be. Nice. And what clubs are you involved in on campus? Um, I don't think I'm a part of it, but my sister was the president for the Malaysia and Singapore club and the Filipino club. Sometimes I join them. And what was your favorite club? Both of those mentioned. And what percentage of campus is involved in these clubs? Oh, a good bulk of them are part of the Filipino club. And do you experience FOMO? Um, not as much as other people, I think. I'm a homebody, so I don't mind being at home. And what is your typical BYU Hawaii outfit? So if you have a presentation, dress up. If you don't have a presentation, just make sure you're in code and you're modest. And does BYU Hawaii have any unique traditions? Um, culture night's pretty unique. And the first time I got here, the graduation, they had a haka and everything. It was pretty cool. And how late do the library stay open? Well, it's closed on Sundays but I think it's open till 11. And where's your favorite place to study on campus in general? I like to book one of the study rooms in the library. It's pretty quiet, really nice to study in. Nice. What is the typical class size? Well, because my major is pretty small in general, I think less than 20, but during pandemic, whoever decided to join the Zoom class that day. And how many hours a day do you think you do homework? Too much. And would you say that you were sleep deprived during the year? I sacrificed part of my social life and I'm still sleep deprived. And how many hours do you sleep during finals? So little. What is the best way to juggle school and social life here at BYU Hawaii? Well, if you're going to plan to have a social event on the weekends, just make sure all of your homework is done throughout the week. Okay, 1 to 10, how attractive is the student body? S s 7. And then 1 to 10, how would you rank the school spirit? A solid 9. Okay, and how much do you walk every day? I walk a lot, but um, I do have a bike, so I cycle everywhere. And do a lot of students use bikes, skateboards, or scooters? Oh yeah, you see them all the time. And how would you describe the vibe of your campus? Um, if you've ever listened to lo-fi music, that's the kind of vibe the campus gives. I love it. And do you have to dress up to go to class, or can you just bum it? Oh yeah. You can just bum it, but again, just be in code, be modest. Of course. 
And what's the typical temperature during the winter? Okay, so I come, I was raised in Singapore where it's summer all year round. Um, so it's cold, it's cold during winter. And is there an article of clothing that you see everyone on campus wearing? Uh, slippers. And is there an essential item to bring to campus when moving in? I don't think it's an essential item, but it's good to get in contact with somebody who's already on campus. It helps a lot. And how often do you leave campus? Um, on my monthly Costco trip and whenever anybody wants to go out. And do you feel safe walking through campus at nighttime? Oh yeah, sure. There's like patrol cars around. And what year are people allowed to move off campus? Uh, it's been pretty weird since the pandemic, but generally iWork students can't leave campus. Um, and then if you're a non-iWork student, you can leave after a year. Are you a return missionary? No, I'm not. And how close is the Laie Hawaii Temple to campus? Okay, so I've timed it. If you're on the bike from the pavilion, it takes about five to seven minutes. If you power walk, it's 15 minutes. Scientific proof. And what is your favorite religion class? Oh, what is my favorite religion class? The Book of Mormon? And who's your favorite religion teacher? Ooh, Brother Martins. And who is your favorite alumni? Oh, my brother, Genesis. And have you ever seen any celebrities on campus? Um, not on campus, but I did give a tour to Elder Cook in PCC. Awesome. And what is the most embarrassing thing you have seen someone do on campus? I've seen one too many people falling off their skateboards and bikes, <laughs> me included. And do you feel like every social economic class are represented here on campus? Not as much as in the city. I mean, like I said, everyone wears their slippers. <laughs> And how often do you see the president of BYU Hawaii? To be honest, I probably haven't seen him in real life. I do see him in devotionals. And do you think you have met a future millionaire here? Does my husband count? Yes, of course. <laughs> and is your school academically competitive or do you help each other out? I don't feel like it's academic uh, uh, competitive. I think everybody helps each other. Um, the Reading Writing Center is really useful for English classes too. And do you think um, the majority of students on campus want to change the world or just be rich? I think they want to do both, but changing the world comes first. And what are your career plans for after you graduate? I plan to go in graduate school. Awesome. And do you think most students who graduate here leave with jobs? I think the school provides ample opportunities to, for graduate students to graduate with jobs, but it's up to the students whether they can find one. Of course. And if you could change one thing about your school, what would you change? I kind of wish they put the Christmas lights up for longer. And what is the number one tip for success here at BYU Hawaii? Um, don't judge anything about anyone and everyone's your friend until they're not. BYU Hawaii is in Laie, Hawaii, so how do you like the area? It's very homey. It's kind of hard to explain. I was raised in the city, so this is probably the furthest thing to a city there is, but it's Nostalgic in a way, I don't know. And is it diverse? Very diverse. And what is your ethnicity? I'm Filipino. And where do you work? I work at facilities management. I'm the training and development intern right now. And where else have you worked as a student? Well, I worked at PCC, and then I also worked for the EXS office once. Are there a lot of jobs for students here? Oh yeah, for sure. And describe the best activity you've been to here. Um. There's this park, Sea Life Park. It's super fun. You can feed the birds in your hand and everything. That sounds so fun. Mm -hmm. And which do you like better, Culture Night or Food Fest? Oh, that's just mean. Um, they're both amazing, but food is number one in my heart. And why do you think BYU Hawaii chose you? I think they saw something in me that I could offer the campus, and it's just a matter of figuring what that is. And what advice would you give to a prospective student? Get out of your comfort zone. Come here if you want to. We need you. Would you say that BYU Hawaii is the best university? Subjective, but yes. So do you think everyone watching should apply to BYU Hawaii and yes. why? Yes. Oh, sorry. Right now. Do it right now and um, because we're waiting for you. Okay, thank you so much, Dimple. Thank you.